of uh, sodium. But have a, have a look. It forms into a ball. It zooms around. Okay. It colors the water where it goes, and then eventually it'll pop. Uh, I have to keep it away from the sides, because if it um, explodes when it's near the sides, it can be a bit messy. Okay? But there you go. It forms into a little ball, zooms around. There you go. And then just at the end... Well, this one is actually quite nice, because it just fizzled out. That almost never happens. I hope you appreciate that. That almost never happens. Normally what happens is it, uh, it explodes a little bit, and, uh, and you have to be quite careful. Okay, now, I could light, again, I could, like the, I could light the hydrogen in a test tube, but instead of doing that, I'm going to put a bit of filter paper down, and going to put, I'm going to put the next bit of sodium right on the filter paper. Okay? And now the, the filter paper will soak up a little bit of the water, it'll start to react, it melts the, the sodium, it forms into a ball, and then hopefully, because the friction is now building up, because the sodium can't dance across the surface of the water as much, hopefully it should burst into flame. There we go. Now isn't that nice? And I hope there are no smoke detectors in here, otherwise I'm going to be responsible for setting off the, the detectors again. I'm just going to waft. Whoa, there we go. And that's the, the end bit of the sodium just there, just uh, um, exploded a little bit. Okay, and we could see that lovely sodium color as it was, uh, as it was burning. Okay, right. Now, have you noticed a trend already? I'm going down group one, from lithium to sodium. Now, the next metal to do is obviously potassium. Um, actually, I'm just going to put away the sodium metal because it's actually still out. Um, I could do. I could just do another bit. Yeah, let's let's just do that again. So, I'm going to put a bit of filter paper down, and it also prevents the sodium from actually going on the side. And look, this is a quite an elongated piece of sodium I've got, got on there. Can you see? Uh, it's quite long. But it doesn't matter. There are several observations you can make. Firstly, it floats, not just on the filter paper, but it, it, the first piece floats, floated on water. Then it forms into a ball. Then it uh, bursts into flame. And then it reacts very strongly with the water. And there we go. Okay. Now, normally I would be doing this behind a safety screen, but because I'm taping this, I can't really put the safety screen up there. So I'm taking this risk. Again, I hope you appreciate this. I'm taking this risk for you. Right, okay. It's not a big risk. Um, it's all been assessed. Right. Anyway, so now um, I've got potassium left to do. Okay. And the potassium is beneath sodium in the periodic table. Look it up if you're not sure. And I'm going to take a piece of potassium out of the oil, and I'm going to show you that it's kept like the other bits. Okay, there you go. That's the potassium jar. Okay, there we go. Potassium, my finger's just over it, but I don't want to drop it. There we go. And it's, it's stored in oil again. That's not water in there, it's oil. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is it keeps the oxygen out, as with the other pieces of metal and it prevents it from reacting completely in air because then we would have nothing to look at anymore right okay so what am I doing now I'm dabbing off the oil once again okay and I s remember I said uh, lithium was like frozen butter coming out of the out of the fridge or a freezer um, sodium was a little bit softer I remarked on that when I cut it potassium will be just a little bit softer again so there's another trend for you okay I've cut it there, okay, and I'm holding it into the camera. Can you see that? It's uh, it's tarnished very very quickly. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut cut another piece off, and hopefully I can focus that quicker into the camera. Uh, those are fairly f more fresh bits than the others, and now I don't need filter paper for this to work. I'm just gonna dump this into the water, okay. And let's see what happens. There you go. Okay, and you can see the nice color of the potassium. It's a nice purpley color. Okay, there you go. It forms into a ball. It zooms over the surface, reacts very quickly. Okay, let's, let's just do that again. Uh, there we go. It forms into a ball. The hydrogen is satellite, even without the filter paper. Okay, one last time. There we go. Whoa. Okay. 
I'm getting out of the way of that one. Okay, now there's quite a lot of smoke here as well, so I'm just going to waft my arms across it. Right, okay. So what are the observations that you, we could make? Firstly, sodium, lithium, and potassium, all three of them floated in water. So that means they must be less dense than the water, correct? They, f they float on the surface of the water. They're less dense than water. They form into a ball. They um, generate uh, fizzing or bubbling. There's a gas that's evolved, definitely. Okay? They turn uh, water with universal indicator in it blue, okay? which is a dead giveaway that, they are, that the solution that they've made is alkaline. And uh, they um, zoom around the surface and eventually react and disappear. Um, because they, they obviously uh, get used up. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration, and I hope that you now know everything there is to know about group 1 uh, metals alkaline. And I hope you can work out the trends from that information. Uh, hardness, for example. Remember, lithium uh, was the hardest, and then sodium was second hardest. Uh, potassium was quite soft. Uh, you've got... Um, Reactivity, of course, the most important one. Lithium fizzed around the surface a bit. I didn't really get the, to like the hydrogen even with the splint near the surface, so I had to capture it in a, in a test tube. Um, so it, it generated some fizz, but it didn't really react all that uh, drastically. Then sodium I could uh, put on a, on a bit of filter paper, and uh, eventually the, the hydrogen um, um, ignited. I could have set a fire to the sodium with a splint, I suppose, on the water. But I didn't even need to do that for potassium. You just put potassium in the water, and immediately the hydrogen comes off, and it bursts into, into flame spontaneously. Okay? Thanks very much. Thanks for listening.